What's up, YouTube? It's Toron bringing you another episode of our survival let's play. And today, we're working on the house. I did a little bit of work and got the, the roof finished on the outside here. So the roof on both sides is finished. Now what I'm doing is I'm trying to work on the, the flooring for up here. I want to get the flooring up in this area done. Uh, oh, hey, look, there's a zombie. You're in the wrong place, buddy. Oh, creeper. Hey, maybe I can use you for some destruction work. Nah. Maybe not. Okay, so I've been digging out. I used a couple, uh, some TNT out here earlier, but I wanted to do some more. So, go ahead and throw that in there, light that up. Boom! Yeah, I'm just using the TNT to quickly get rid of some stuff. I don't really want to have to dig all this out by hand. Though, dirt will be easier with the super shovel. It's mainly the rocks that I gotta worry about. Um, yeah, I've recently been playing uh, a Resident Evil map on Minecraft, which has been quite fun. And then I've also got my hands on Cube World, which I find that game to be a lot of fun as well. I think it'd be really cool if they made it so you can build your own buildings in Cube World eventually. But I don't think they're going to go that far. Uh, who knows? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they will. For now, though, it's still just fun to play. Oh, where is he at? He's not... Yeah, that's right. Get out of my house. Where do you even spawn at? You probably spawn over here. They tend to do that. They'll just randomly spawn where they aren't wanted. Let's see. What I need to do, actually, what I should do is I need to finish out this area down here, too. I haven't finished this yet either. But. Oh, I do have some oak wood planks. Never mind. And get rid of those. Throw that there. I need to make a couple chests. So I can get rid of this. We'll just drop off the oak wood for now. I'll need that. I don't need that. And I need this right now. Because I'm low on hunger. Now what I'm doing is... Uh, I'm going to clear it out and then put the wood floor down. And once I have the wood floor down, uh, then what I'll do is I'll finish, I'll work on filling out the, uh, the, the sides. What I think I'm actually going to do is do multiple floors in here. Because of how big the ceiling is, I think we could get away with a couple different floors and it won't be too bad. Right now, I'm just trying to get everything set up so we can do this floor here. And it's a lot of clearing out to do. So yeah, I'm sorry I haven't had many videos lately on the mine with the uh, Minecraft. I've been doing some Cube World and we had the 4th of July recently, which kind of took a little bit of my time. 
So with the holidays and everything, I've just been a little kind of busy. So I wanted to apologize for not having more videos out for you guys. But I'm hoping to remedy that this week and get you guys a bunch of videos out. Alright. And we're clearing it out pretty nicely. I like working with uh, this dirt because it's a lot easier to get a shovel to clear out dirt really fast than it is to clear out stone. My pick does a good job with stone, but nothing like the shovel does with dirt. And I'm probably going to be full soon. And it's going to be nighttime. I should go sleep so we don't get monsters spawning everywhere. Alright. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to keep working on digging out that room and getting the floor done. And then I will be back with you guys once I'm able to get that, that part of it finished. And then we'll work on possibly adding a floor or Trying to figure out what to do after that, so I'll be back. All right, everybody, and we're back. Um, what I've done here, I turned off my uh, connected textures for now, so I could see how this window looked. Um, I built some stairs here and fill out some of this upper floor. I wanted to go with a circular, like a half circle, for that. Oh, who's shooting at me? Really? Yeah, I win, sucker. Uh, let's see. As you can see, my inventory is still full from digging on all this room. But I went ahead with the staircase here. Comes up to this floor. Now I need to do this one here. I'll have to fix that. And then like this. That should put us even with this next floor. Um, so what I did is I just... I left this middle row open. I'm building a staircase. I'll probably do either a room in between here or I'll leave it. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet in between this. I know on the floor above I'm going to do a bunch of uh, rooms. Uh, let me check my sound. Alright. Yeah, on, on the floor above, I'm going to do a bunch of rooms. Uh, probably a, a room for beds, uh, rooms for other things. Uh, but we're going to do rooms for different things up above. And then I still need to finish down there. And I gotta go get a lot more quartz to finish out this house. I'm gonna be running around the nether for a while. Just getting quartz to finish out this area. But... Let's see... No... All right, uh, but this is this is going to be uh, one of those builds that does take a while still, because it is a fairly large uh, house. I actually might build a storage room in between the staircases, build rows of storage, so I don't always have to run into the main base below to get stuff that I've stored. Ah, uh, rats. 
That'll just keep stuff from spawning down there. And I need to go get me a bunch more uh, oak. Because I'm pretty sure that's the last one I have on me. Yep, that would be it. Let's go ahead and light what we do have up here. Light it up. And then this here. Is like this. I'm just doing the exact same thing over here that I did on the other side there. Alright. And later I'll build those up to the top as we go. And then I go, I go up and then high enough to put the row over. But as you can see, it's coming along. I uh, I might take a break from this and work on something else momentarily, or I'll work on this area down here, which I still need to do. No, where's he at? I hear you, Mr. Zombie. Nah, he's probably underground somewhere nearby. Oh, found you. Or oh, you found me at least. And you're dead. Um, because I still have some stuff to do in my base. I'm not entirely leaving this. Uh, I just wanted to build something on top. Uh, but I still want to work on expanding this base down here some still. Uh, because this is where my main storage room is at. This is where I have my horses currently. I, I still need to build myself a, a place outside to house my horse when I'm not using him. Instead of bringing him all the way back down here. And then I still want to do something with, uh, with this area back here. I want to make something of this. So that's not just a uh, closed off hidden door for nothing. I wonder how my animals are doing. Well, not too bad. Oh, we got a stray sheep. Sorry, sheepy. You can't be in with the cows. Alright. How about the pigs? Oh, they're still good. What was it I picked up? Oh, inks. Whoa. I guess I must have spawned a uh, squid in one of these. Cool. Uh, but no, you guys. Uh, basically, I'm... I'm working on the outside, and then we're going to work on making the inside pretty some more. I just haven't uh, quite decided what I want to do next to do that. Oh, wow. I haven't been in here for a bit. It's the attack of the slimes. Kill them all! Well, apparently I won't be short for slime balls for a while. I forget that this room was built right on a slime chunk. So I have slime spawning in here like crazy. So I, mean, I don't mind it. It means I have infinite... I don't have to worry about making a slime farm. I just have to come down here and kill a bunch of slimes. Are you guys all dead yet? I gotta throw some of this grass and dirt blocks in my inventory away so I can pick up the slimes. Alright, let's see. 
I think he's stuck for the moment. There's those. Who knows? Oh, he got out. Give him a big enough incentive and they find their way out. That's right. I'm using a looting sword on these guys. So that's why I'm getting so many slime balls back. But it's alright because slimes are now used for a few different things. Sticky pistons, leads. Um, can't quite remember if there's anything else beyond those. But quite a bit of experience. Wow. I heard you, Mr. Slime. Still got one up here somewhere. Is he back here? No. Alright, nobody out there. Alright. He might be on the other side of the wall. Because there's still some spaces over on the other side of the wall to get out. Wow. Almost three full stacks of slime balls from that. That's crazy. But hey, I'll take it. Um, now let's see. Alright, we're still good. So I do want to finish doing some stuff in, inside. And I do want to uh, add some more. So I actually want to make a, uh, a village and bring some villagers over here. Uh, but I want to enclose the village in a giant wall to protect it from uh, zombies and stuff. So that'll that'll take some time here eventually. Oh uh, yeah, I updated my jar files. So of course, it's like, oh hey, look, you just barely learned potions for the fifty millionth time. Uh, um, but I think we have zombies. So I'm gonna continue working on the big house above. And uh, think about how I want to do my village. And then I'm also going to work on expanding. Um, oh, here he is. I'm also going to work on expanding this area, or this, my base down here as well. Because there's still some things I want to do down here. I still want to make a, um, oh, I bet they're in my, oh, I know where they're at. If they're not in here, I know exactly where they're at. They're in my potions room. I like how they fix the run mechanism. So it's easier to run now. Right, I know you got some buddies behind one of these walls too. Just depends on which wall it is. I've added some stuff in here to keep things spawn, uh, slimes from spawning, but they still spawn somewhere. Unless they spawned up above somewhere, which is what it seems like. They're not in here. They must be up above somewhere. Yeah, cause they're not down here. Oh well, I'm just going to ignore them. Alright. 
Yeah, I don't know where they're at. Actually, I need to go get me some harvest some food anyways. While I'm down here. Wow, nice. How are we looking on here? Oh. That chest is almost full. See, the nice thing about this is this is an auto harvested um, sugarcane farm. So I don't have to worry about it, it just harvests itself. Kind of handy. Oh, this one. Go ahead and turn that off and harvest that and harvest that. I could make it so these are all triggered automatically like by pressure plates or something, but I like the uh, manual interaction personally. Uh, but it wouldn't be hard to make it so that they were uh, automatically triggered instead of me manually doing it myself. Alright. And that's still collecting. Oh. These are actually 64 per side. And all I did is basically, it's just dispensers with water buckets, and there's redstone behind them. I hit the button, it triggers the redstone. After it's gone long enough, then uh, I hit the button again. I could probably put a timer on it and make it so it automatically would shut itself off. Um, but I didn't feel like wasting the uh, the repeaters and stuff on that. It's just as easy for me to press the button myself. And I get quite a bit of uh, nether wart out of this. So I don't have any complaints. I uh, end up with enough for my brewing station, or my automatic brewing. So I can use the potions that I like to use. It's been, it's been good. It's been really, really, really nice actually. And then the uh, food across the way, I have it all going into some hoppers that put it in the chest. And all I have to do is go and grab a stack of each and replant. Because I made sure that they were all... Yeah, it's still emptying it into those. Let's see how much nether wart we did end up with. One, two, three, almost four stacks of nether wart from that harvest. That's pretty awesome. And then down here. So we need a stack of carrots, a stack of potatoes, and we need a stack of seeds. They go in the bolt chest here, so it's not like I have to specifically go for that chest to get them. It just makes it easier. Ah, uh, they're behind the walls. Or they're, uh, I think there's, they're beneath me. Because these walls go that way and then there's empty room down. So they, they're probably somewhere beneath this area, which would make sense. Oh, some potatoes didn't all go. It's all right. And see, this is quick to refill it. And while I'm working up top, I'm actually, this chunk is loaded. So while I'm up above doing stuff, uh, this actually grows. And I can come down here and harvest it. And I need to go throw these in my auto smelter so I can have some potatoes later. Because I tend to eat potatoes because it's easiest. Though I've heard that golden carrots are actually better to eat. 
because they have better saturation. And they have a better saturation level. So what I think I might do is set up a uh, pigment farm. <coughs> Excuse me. I might set up a pigment farm to get the uh, gold nu gold uh, nuggets. And then I'll start eating gold carrots. But that's for later. But anyways, you guys. Um, I think we're going to call this, call this an episode. Uh, I don't have as much. Oh, hey, look. I'm missing stairs again. I'm not sure how this keeps happening, to be honest. I don't have a crafting table down here. I'll remedy that right now. Give me All right, you guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. My wife is calling right as I was working on this. And so, yeah, I actually had some stairs in my inventory still, even though I made some spruce just in case. I still had the oak wood. Um, I did also remember that I have this. Oh, garbage disposal. Um, but yeah, so I fixed those. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call it good here. We're gonna I'm gonna keep working on the house upstairs. Uh, see if we can't get that finished here soon. And then I'm also gonna uh, work on a little outdoor, maybe just a single stable house thing for the uh, horse when I'm riding him outside for Magnus. I still need to come up with a name for him. Maybe we'll call you George. You like that? Your name should be George? Yeah? Alright, we'll call you George. George and Magnus. I just need to find another name tag. So we got to go caving again soon. That'll be uh, something we do really soon too. Yeah, some more caving. I also want to go to the nether. Because uh, the nether actually is a good place to find uh, chests and stuff because of the nether fortresses. So, anyways you guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. It, it wasn't as entertaining as some of my other ones, but uh, I'm planning to do some more uh, exploring and caving and stuff, which will be a little more exciting than me building. But anyways you guys, thanks so much. Take care everybody. Peace!